In this video, I want to give you a easy, practical, to the point tutorial on exactly how to use iMovie to edit your YouTube videos. So I've got my laptop over here pulled up with iMovie and this is where I'm gonna walk you guys through every single step of this. So when we have iMovie pulled up, what we're going to do is we're going to go to file and open library and then hit new. And I always like to create a new library for every YouTube video that I am making. So I'm just going to make a example library here to kind of show you guys how I would do this. Hello, editing Stephanie here. Um, I'm just interjecting real quick because what I just explained might actually be a little bit confusing. So I'm gonna walk you through real quick what I actually mean for events. So events is actually used to basically categorize or organize your different video footage that you might have for your different videos. But if you want to work on a new project for a video, you're gonna have to actually create a new project to work on another video, which I did not explain and I realized could be very confusing. So. Look to your screen real quick. This is where we were working in in this media section. Up in the um, top center of your screen, if you hit on projects, you're gonna be able to create a new project. You just literally hit create new. Um, make sure you create a new movie. You can then choose which library you want to put it in. So I recommend putting it in the library that goes with your video where your media and your video footage is going to be. Um, so let me just do the example real quick. And then that's where you're gonna be able to create an entirely new video without deleting what you've already done. I just wanted to make sure that was clear because I don't think I really explained that well here. All right, now back to old Stephanie explaining this tutorial. <laughs> So when you create a new library, what you're gonna wanna do is import your media first from the YouTube video that you filmed. My favorite way to do this is to literally just drag and drop the clips that I want to use directly into the timeline. And so I have my video footage pulled up right here in a folder and literally my favorite way to do this is just to drag and drop the clips that I want to use into the timeline right here. And so when you drag and drop them, this is what you're going to see. One thing I want to point out is you can hit Command plus and command minus to zoom in and out on your timeline, which is super nice for just zooming in and out super, super quickly. You can also go to the upper right hand side and drag and dr drag it left to right to be able to zoom in and out so you can more closely fine tune your editing. The first thing I like to do when I'm editing a YouTube video is to edit out any of the spaces where I wasn't talking. So when you are scrolling through your timeline down here, you're able to see um, the little like squiggly lines almost, right? Right? That's where I'm talking in the video and then the spaces where I am not talking is it just kind of goes flat with the sound And so to eliminate those sections, there's a couple things you can do You can drag your mouse over where you want to delete um, a section and put command B on your keyboard And that will split the clip and then you can either click on the next clip and split it again where it starts and then delete that clip in the middle to get rid of that or another thing you do, can do, I'm just gonna undo this real quick, is you can hit R on your keyboard and hold it down and then you're gonna be able to drag on a section of your clip and then just literally hit delete and it's gonna delete that section of the video. It makes doing this super, super fast. And then once you delete a certain section, um, you can also fine tune the edges by just scrolling over. See how there, there's a little double arrows that pop up and you just click and drag to be able to um, fine tune where you want the video to end and you and start again. I also want to point out that you also, if you want to edit like the exposure or white balance or anything in your video, you might want to do that first before you start splitting up all of the clips, just to make it a little bit easier. You're not having to try and copy and paste the settings onto every single clip once you get really deep into editing. So to edit the white balance or exposure, if you click on a clip and have it highlighted in yellow and go to the upper right hand side, you'll be able to see these little buttons at the top. That's where you can adjust the crop, you can adjust exposure, all of that. And so if you scroll over each one, you can see what they all are like this one's color balance, color correction, cropping, um, and then speed, clip filter and audio effects. The main ones that I use are color balance and cropping. So if you hit color balance, it's where you can adjust the exposure and white balance for your video. And so um, on the left hand side here in the blue bar, that's where you can adjust the exposure. I always like to bring my exposure up just a tiny bit and bring the shadows up just a tiny bit. And for the next two, the first one here is saturation. So when you are filming on a DSLR, especially when you're filming video, a lot of times it takes some of the coloring out of your video. And so I always like to bump up the saturation just a tiny bit to bring some life back into the video. And then on the right hand side here, you'll see there is white balance and that's where, you know, if your video's 
is too warm or cool, you can adjust it there. This one's maybe a little too warm, so I'm just gonna adjust it down just a little bit. And then that's about it. So that's something that I would do before I start up uh, clipping all of the clips like I was earlier because if you do it before you're gonna have to copy and paste it to all your clips If you do find yourself in that scenario and you need to a uh, paste an adjustment to all of your clips What you're gonna do is select the clip that has the adjustment that you want hit command C on your keyboard You can also go to edit copy up at the top and it's going to copy the settings that are on that clip And then what you can do is select the clip you want to paste it on select it So it's in yellow go to edit and then hit paste adjustments and then you can select which adjustment you want to paste. So maybe you just wanna paste the crop of the video or you wanna paste the color correction or something along those lines. You can do individual ones or you can just hit all and it's gonna paste all of your adjustments that you made on your other clip so that it's all matching. Now I'm gonna show you how to add overlays, music, audio, things along those lines that I'm sure you guys are curious about because these are just the basic edits. So once I've gone through and edited all of the parts of the audio out that I want for me talking in the video, then I'm gonna add some overlays, whether it's pop-ups or sounds or things along those lines. And what I recommend you do is have one folder on your hard drive or your computer that has all of the common overlays that you might use in your YouTube videos so you can easily pull from them and use them. So for example, if you look to your screen, you'll see I have a whole folder in my YouTube folder on my hard drive that just has a bunch of overlays and typical things that I'll include in my YouTube videos so I can easily pull from them here. And I make a lot of these in Canva. If you wanna try Canva out, it's a completely free program. We'll have a link in the description if you want to check it out. That's how I make all of my graphics, my animated graphics even. I make all of those in Canva and it makes it really, really easy to then download to my computer and add it to a YouTube video. But these are the ones that are like are more generic that I use in a lot of my YouTube videos that aren't specific to a YouTube video. So for example, um, I do add like a little Instagram overlay a lot for my Instagram username. And so like you just saw me do, I literally just drag and drop it into where I want it in the clip. And then from there is where you can adjust it. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do when you first add it to the video, it's gonna automatically have this like zoom in and out effect. To get rid of the like zoom in and out effect here, we're gonna go over to crop and then we're going to hit fit and it's going to keep it in the same exact spot throughout the video where the overlay is. So you can see now when we play the video, it is going to stay in the same spot. It's not gonna have this weird like zoom in and out effect. And you can also change the transition for the effects to come on. So you'll notice when I play it, how it fades into being all popped up on the screen. If you don't like that, a lot of times I don't want it to like dissolve like that. So you just hit this first icon up here while you have it selected and then hit zero on the seconds right here. And it's going to just pop up in a flash, which is super nice. And then something else I add to a lot of my videos when I have pop-ups like this is adding little sound effects when something pops up. So I'll show you where I find a lot of those sound effects. So when you're in iMovie, in the upper um, area of iMovie where it says my media, you go over to audio right next to it. And this is where you can find a ton of sound effects that are really, really helpful to use. There are a few in particular that I like to use pretty often. The first one I like to use here is called um, Golf Hit One. You'll see that in a lot of my YouTube videos. Let me turn on the sound, you guys can hear. So that's where that little noise is, that's where it comes from. And then the next one I like to use is called bottle cork. And you can also search in the upper right hand side here if you're trying to look for a specific sound. So if you search and hit enter, they'll all pop up here. So bottle cork is another one I use and you might say, might be familiar to you. Let me play it real quick. Okay, so if you want to use a certain sound, what I usually do is I use a sound like that when something pops up on the screen and that's pretty much the only time I use it. So if you want to use that, what you do is you click and drag and drop it into your video where you want it to be. I always make sure it's lined up at the beginning of that overlay and then let it go and then play it again so you can see where it's popping up on the video. On Reels or TikTok. Perfect, and then this was a little bit loud for me so I'm gonna hit Command Plus to zoom in a little bit so I can see what's going on right here. I'm gonna bring down the noise right here so let's go ahead and bring it down maybe 28%. On Reels or TikTok. Okay, so that's a little bit more along the lines of what I want it, would want it to be on one of my videos. To add music into iMovie, it's really the same concept as these overlays I've showed you. So let me go back to the overlays and music folder 
in my hard drive and let me find so this is some music that I typically have and what I'll do is just literally drag and drop it I put it underneath the video because so it goes with the video right and then just bring down the volume so that it's like more background music and let me show you an example something that actually a lot of you have and then you can kind of see okay maybe i need to turn down the volume even a little bit more asked me about and it's how to find trending sound. there you go and then it's the same thing as when you are editing your video clips you can literally drag and drop right here on your music to make it shorter or wider you can click and drag it around to move it in your video clip another thing i'll point out too is you can have it fade in and out if you scroll over the clip you can kind of see there's these little dots that show up if you click and drag you it will automatically start to fade the music as it goes on another cool hack that i want to show you kind of like in um like we did for the splitting up the clips we hit the letter r in order to select a portion and to edit and delete part of that right and so you can use a similar concept if you hit r on your keyboard and select a portion of the clip what's cool about this is you can also go to where you adjust the volume of the clip and drag it up or down to adjust it in just a portion of the clip which is really helpful if you want maybe the volume to be a little bit louder maybe you have some b-roll and you want the volume of your background music to be louder just during that portion of the uh of the video and so this is a really handy hack that i didn't even know till recently so if you're uh, adjusting audio at all and need something like that that's super super helpful another pro tip i want to share is that once you have some of these overlays made maybe you have certain intro music that you always add to your videos or certain outros or certain overlay overlays like this little instagram pop-up you can create a new library and store all those templated pop-ups in that library so what i mean by this is let's go ahead and just create a new library so i can show you what I mean and we're just gonna name it templates just so you can get an idea of what I mean by this so you'll have a library just specifically for these things and we're gonna go ahead and go back here on the upper left hand side and create a new project make sure that we have it under our templates area here and then we're gonna go ahead and drag and drop from that other project we were working on so let's go ahead and go back to that example library and it's probably gonna make me yes Instagram pop up and I'm gonna go back to that movie we were working on. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy all of this with the video so that I can copy it later and go back to the projects, go to the Instagram pop-up, and I'm just gonna go ahead and paste it into here. What's nice is that the volume is already adjusted and the length of the pop-up, if I have a certain length I always wanted to be, I can adjust that. And later when I'm editing a video, I can come back to this project, copy just the sound and the overlay. So I'm hit Command C here, and I'll show you on that same movie we're working on. I can go to a portion of the video that I want to paste that into, hit Command V on my keyboard, and it's automatically going to paste the pop-up with the music and the, or the sound. And so this is a really great way to save time. If you have certain pop-ups, like maybe subscribe to my channel or like this video or things like that that maybe use over and over and over again, create a new event with a new project and always store it in there so that you're able to pull from that super, super quickly whenever you're editing videos and you don't have to constantly, you know, go back and try to find the overlay and add the music or the sound and adjust it and all of that. It's already all right there for you. It's really gonna help save time with your editing. If you love this video, go ahead and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up because it helps to support my channel. And if you hit the notification bell, you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video, which is every Tuesday at noon Eastern Standard Time. I would love to have you hanging out around here. We talk a lot about Instagram, social media, content creation, YouTube, and we would love to have you just be a part of this community. Thank you so, so much for being here. If you have any questions on anything I talked about in this video, go ahead and drop it in the comments. I would absolutely love to help you in any way that I can and I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye guys! Oh look at those eyes. Say goodbye everybody. Say we will see you in the next video and maybe I'll make more of an appearance and won't be so sweepy but I'm also very sweepy so no promises.